and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. Active promotion has helped Ukrainian movies enter the international market in recent years. Movies made in Ukraine play a significant part in forging Ukraine's new progressive independent identity. More government money is being allocated to keep them coming. And more than even before, they are gaining attention and winning awards at various international film festivals. To talk more about this, we are joined in the studio today by Victoria Yarmashchuk. She is an executive director of Ukrainian Motion Picture Association and coordinator of the film area at the Office for Humanitarian Policy of Ukraine. So, hello and thank you for joining. Hello. You, you have been engaged in the media sphere since 2005. And the list of your accomplishments is very big. Among them is launching the first consulting company in Ukraine that, is specializes, that specializes on media and entertainment, uh, aka film, television, uh, digitalization. Uh, also, you initiated international 2B2 media forum, Kyiv Media Week, that appeared in 2011. And now you are coordinating uh, the film area at the Office for Humanitarian Policy of Ukraine. Yeah, all this true. <laughs> you are obviously a very active person. What are you planning to do in the nearest future, let's say in five years? I'm assuming you're going to be staying engaged in the film industry. So where are you going to be heading in that sphere? Uh, okay, just uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to say thank you for inviting me here because uh, today Ukrainian media industry, industry of uh, creative, uh, creative theory in general is on a huge rise mm -hmm. and the movies actually, this could be that uh, uh, moving force behind all the other creative industries. Mm -hmm. uh, Why movies? Yeah, because actually movie, it's universal language. Mm. Uh, with storytelling, you can influence people's minds uh, in good or in bad way. And uh, today I'm very proud and happy that the Ukrainian government pays a lot of attention uh, for the development for exactly this year. Uh, as you told your viewers, uh, I'm heading <coughs> the area of uh, film in the newly established Office on Humanitarian Policy mm. Development led by uh, newly uh, appointed uh, Minister of Culture, Youth uh, and Tourism, uh, Volodymyr Borodyansky. And uh, what actually uh, uh, is planned to do by this office is to find a synergy with film, uh, all the creative industries in our country, mm. uh, and movie is just one of them. Because only joining forces of all the creative industry, we will be able to give uh, our country like a huge push uh, to move forward. Because you really need uh, not only good movies, not only good museums, good theatre, etc. But we need to form uh, Ukrainian cultural, uh, uh, I don't know, atmosphere or something like, um, not, not a market, but something which will unite us. And only creative industries together can do this. this Is way there a way, um, a way to put it all together in one spot and then make it all represent Ukraine on a high level? Yes, but this model is not invited in Ukraine. Uh, the ministry uh, like that works, uh, for example, in Canada or in, in, in Great Britain. Mm -hmm. And actually a new ministry is building uh, them themselves based on those uh, successful cases of other international countries. And uh, generally speaking, what is the most important today for film industry is uh, um, to eliminate those limits and those barriers uh, which uh, do not let the industry uh, work actually as a business, as, a, as an industry. As you may know, last year, um, I mean this year, 2019, government allocated more than uh, 1 billion Ukrainian hryvnias for the development of mm -hmm. movies, uh, movie industry. And this is actually like a huge sum. It's uh, around uh, $40 million. And this kind of support uh, is uh, not common in Europe and in some other countries. And what is the main problems with this is, the, is that this support uh, is not distributed fairly, transparently enough, and we still spend money of the government uh, to produce some films and movies which are not actually reach their viewers. Okay. What is the algorithm of creating um, an economically efficient and internationally recognized movie produced in Ukraine, from your point of view? Uh, the biggest problems, or pro problem, the biggest problem of Ukrainian film market is um, 
uh, it is very limited uh, by money which producer can uh, uh, gain in this particular market. We do not have enough uh, TV, uh, we don't have enough uh, cinema screens, we don't have, we have small uh, advertising market uh, for TV and we do not have, uh, frankly speaking, uh, belief uh, in the Ukrainian movie industry as a business from the private investors. Mm -hmm. And what should be done, of course, uh, uh, but from the governmental point of view, they should talk, the, think more um, about expanding possibilities for Ukrainian population to see Ukrainian movies. So, I mean, build new cinemas and uh, work more with TV channels to... Uh, let, to promote? To, yeah, to promote Ukrainian movies. And, of course, we need to... Uh, uh, attract new monies in the industry, new money in the industry. They can be local uh, or they can be international. And uh, last week, Ukrainian parliament voted for the new law, which uh, introduces cash rebate system. Mm -hmm. This is uh, like a part uh, of um, uh, expenses which will be spent in Ukraine by international producers, will be given them back. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows about case uh, Chernobyl, uh, miniseries by HBO, which was actually shoot not in Ukraine, but mm -hmm. in Latvia, uh, just because of that, that we don't have this cash rebate system. Uh, so well, now that Tom Cruise has visited Kyiv, maybe that, that's about to change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that he came here because he was invited to be, I, I don't know, maybe the new head of Ukrainian state film agency or something like well, that. Well, there are rumors that Tom Cruise was <laughs> looking for new locations for shooting Mission Impossible 6. Is it? Is it supposed to be the sixth movie? How true is it? Uh, frankly speaking, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> meet with Tom, unfortunately. Uh, I'm a very busy person, you know. Uh, but anyway, the visit uh, that such a star uh, visited Ukraine, uh, even for the short time, it's like a good signal for the rest of the filmmaking world. Ukraine, right now, Ukraine and Ukrainian film industry is in the close cooperation with Canada and China. What other potential markets should we look at for further cooperation? Actually, it's not exactly true because Ukraine uh, is trying to be closer to China and Canada. Uh, in Can with Canada, we are just uh, many, many steps closer than with China. Uh, in this summer, was signed a bilateral agreement of uh, international co-production between Ukraine and China. Now we are waiting for Ukrainian and Canadian governments to ratify that. And with China, we are in the process of negotiations, negotiating this uh, in this. Uh, agreement. Uh, but uh, I, I am pretty sure that uh, Ukrainian producers should uh, use uh, any opportunity to become part of international uh, financial markets, first mm -hmm. of all, uh, and uh, some uh, algorithm to make this true, again, must be made by government. And it's not only like a, a direct support of film production or something like that. This is a signing of all these kind of uh, bilateral agreements uh, between Ukraine and potential partners. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, this is about the promotion of Ukraine internationally. Now, Ukraine is already present in all and any um, biggest film and TV uh, festivals, markets, etc. And we really need to invest more, not money, but our resources into be represented in the best way. You were uh, on uh, the expert commission of the competition of film projects that may qualify for funding under the article creating and disturbing, uh, distributing, I'm sorry, patriotic films. Uh, that was in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, or in 2018. 18, 18. Okay, in 2018. So far, what is the effect? What is the result? Uh, it's a little bit early to say about the uh, results because the uh, movies um, funded by this program, program are still in production, most mm -hmm. of them. Uh, the, uh, uh, this contest was last summer and uh, a lot of movies are still in production. Uh, but for example, uh, this autumn we will see a movie supported by that program, it's called uh, uh, Vidana in Ukrainian. Uh, I don't remember the uh, name in English, but this, what is uh, interesting about this movie, it was, it is based uh, on modern Ukrainian novel. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it uh, was absolutely shot in Kiev in Ukraine and it has like a huge international potential. So I think that this kind of movie, it's not about Ukrainian history, not about Ukrainian national hero, something like that, but it's about Ukrainian culture, Ukrainian cuisine, mm -hmm. all these uh, things which each nation should be proud of. And that's why I think that this is like a good example of a patriotic film. So, and I really hope now we are just, uh, me and the other members of our committee, uh, we are looking uh, films which are already ready and uh, uh, let them be finished. And uh, I really want to see more movies like that, which mm -hmm. will really tell us uh, about things which each, uh, every Ukrainian could be proud of. Uh, in your opinion, how do you... We, we do already have a boom in the filmmaking industry of Ukraine. How do we uh, even make it more fruitful? How do we keep it even more booming? What's, in your opinion, what's the secret, what's the, the recipe <clears throat> yes. for enhancing the filmmaking industry of Ukraine even more? Um, I think that today the most important thing to... Uh, be, uh, to be done by both by industry and by government that now this boom uh, which now is uh, in quantity should be transformed into quality mm -hmm. because uh, for example we analyzed that the, for the last five years Ukrainian film agency uh, they funded uh, more than 2020 films mm -hmm. uh, and uh, roughly half of them was uh, ever ha have been ever sh uh, seen by any viewers. Some of them, of course, generated big book offices uh, and big TV ratings, but a huge part of those films, uh, they didn't actually reach the mm -hmm. viewers. Of course, some of them, they, it was like uh, uh, films by young filmmakers. Uh, some of them uh, were shown at some specific film festivals. Some of them, it was art house movies uh, also shown on film festivals. I'm not talking about this kind of programs, uh, films. I'm talking about a huge amount of, of films which were funded and nobody knows where they are. So I really think that after we have new minister, after we have some reforms in the Ukrainian Film State Agency and all kind of stuff, that we will uh, produce more movies mm -hmm. uh, which will actually reach their viewers uh, and enrich <laughs> our nation. Well, Ukraine is a very, ta very talented country with very talented people. So we're all looking forward to the further booming of the filmmaking industry. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. That was Victoria Yarmoshuk. She is the executive director of Ukrainian Motion Picture Association and coordinator of the film area at the Office for Humanitarian Policy of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching Head to Head. Stay tuned with UATV for more. Yeah.